For 37 years and counting, the Expo Line has been the lifeline for public transportation into the downtown core. This 3km section of the Expo Line connects the city's central terminus at Waterfront Station and the False Creek Recreational Area at Main Street along with the nearby Pacific Central Station. Outside of providing service to entertainment and financial hubs, this part of the line features a tunnel once used by the Canadian Pacific Railway and a diving roller coaster section under the two viaducts. Join in as we tour the Expo Line in the downtown core. The first station for this video, Main Street, features no shortage of fascinating trivia. The formal name for this station is Main Street Science World Station. It sits on the boundary between downtown Vancouver and Strathcona to the east. While known for its access to both local and intercity transport services, the hub is perhaps best known for its proximity to the iconic Science World and the seawall path along the shores of False Creek. The station itself was the first one built along with the one kilometer section of track to the east, both of which were completed in 1982 for the initial trial of the system. Main Street was also one of the first to undergo a complete overhaul which was completed in 2016. Meanwhile, the station's west side features a rare North American example of a metro system running through a building.
After the dive under the two viaducts, we arrive at Stadium Chinatown Station. While it provides access to the Tinsel Town Retail District and surrounding commercial area, this station is best known for its connection to BC Place Stadium and the more frequently used Rogers Arena. The two arenas combined host between 90 and 100 events a year, ranging from the guaranteed regular season sporting events to the occasional concerts. A third unused platform from the Expo 86 era remains as a storage area. There is little need for this platform though, as on event nights the station can pump out 500 passengers every 3-4 to four minutes per direction. On this spring afternoon, Rogers Arena employees prepare for the evening shift as the Canucks face off against the Anaheim Ducks.
Heading underground, we burrow our way west under the downtown core. On screen right now is the Dunsmere Tunnel. Opened in 1933 for the Canadian Pacific Railway, this tunnel was originally used by freight trains heading to the False Creek Flats from Waterfront. In the early 1980s, BC Transit acquired the tunnel and built a superstructure. And since 1985, the westbound tracks have been operating on the upper deck, while the bottom deck has been serving eastbound trains. Granville is the first of two stations built inside the tunnel. One of three split-level stations on the network, the station provides access to a multitude of commercial and retail hubs, as well as a variety of local and regional transit connections. Granville is also the deepest Expo Line station at 25 meters underground. So to get passengers up to street level, three escalators provide access to the Hudson's Bay complex. These escalators are 115 feet in length and are the longest in the entire province. Meanwhile, another exit provides access to Dunsmere and Seymour streets. On this afternoon rush hour, crowds come in after their 9 to 5s for their trip out of the city centre.
Burrard Station is just up the street from Granville. This station features a distinct glass station building, ticketing hall, and underground pathways to food courts usually reserved for the business district, such as the Royal Center and the Bentel Center. In the spring, the station becomes a photography hotspot as petals from the cherry blossoms coat the station's exterior in shrouds of pink and white. At the time of filming, the station is undergoing a retrofit of its escalators as part of a downsized rebuild program. Unlike Granville, Burrard tends to have an edge in serving regional bus routes, such as the R5 rapid bus into Burnaby, as well as a vast array of routes heading to the North Shore, accessible from Georgia and Dunsmuir streets. Until 2009, the station was the main suburban bus terminal for peak hour routes out to Richmond, South Surrey, and South Delta. While that role has been transferred to the Canada Line since then, the station still finds itself popular among local commuters and tourists headed to Robson Street and the Robson Square Public Plaza. Commuters continue to flock to both eastbound and westbound Expo Line services on this mid-spring afternoon.
Waterfront is no Grand Central Station, but since 1914, passengers have been navigating the big station for rail and sea transport out of the city center. Although the station is known all around for its heritage and access to other transport options and urban attractions, the main draw for this documentary are the two platforms completed in 1985 perched under the north side of Cordova Street. Located at either end of the platform are some of, if not, the most important switches on the main line. These switches are responsible for allowing trains to turn around in a matter of a few minutes and sometimes seconds. Sometimes trains have to pull into the station in the opposite direction to save up for lost time. In this session, the afternoon rush hour enters its later stages as crowds start to dwindle.
Thank you for watching this documentary as we resume our regular posting frequency. Please consider subscribing for transit content every week. Any questions can be left in the comments below.